A major upset in the New York congressional primary to decide who will run on the Democratic ticket just took place, with Jamal Bowman beating 16-term Congressman Elliot Engel. You don't remember Elliot Engel? Well, maybe this will refresh your memory. Yes, that's Congressman Engel saying he wouldn't care about the Black Lives Matter movement if he didn't have a contested primary. Engel's loss, despite this obvious gaffe, wasn't certain, however, with establishment Democrats and Republicans nearly coming to his rescue at the last second. Why might this defeat be a watershed moment for progressive candidates in the future? I'm Taha Aras, and I'll tell you why in brief. Elliot Engel was first busted during the COVID-19 pandemic for lying where he was quarantining, opting to stay in his home in Maryland instead of staying in his home district with his constituents. Engel may also have had his aides mislead the public about his whereabouts, having them say he was helping out in his congressional district. Later, when the truth was uncovered, he doubled down on his story and said he was in both places when approached at his home in Maryland by a journalist. You would think that after these series of public humiliations, establishment candidates would bail on Engel and support Bowman. But you would be wrong. Engel received unprecedented support in the run-up to his primary, including being Hillary Clinton's first endorsement of the 2020 election. Clinton was joined by Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, and New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, all who rejected endorsing middle school principal Jamal Bowman in favor of endorsing Elliot, I wouldn't care about Black Lives Matter, Engel. But they weren't the only ones. Engel also received millions of dollars in super PAC money from both Democrats and Republicans. While Engel had all the moneyed establishment candidates behind him, Bowman was endorsed by progressive heavyweights, Bernie Sanders, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and Elizabeth Warren. Jamal Bowman's win is just the first of potentially two or three pivotal primary races remaining that may increase the clout of progressives in Congress. While it looks like Suraj Patel and Charles Booker have lost, Richie Torres and Mondaer Jones have won their primaries. Ocasio-Cortez's own primary victory against well-funded Wall Street darling Michelle Caruso Cabrera, coupled with her successful campaigning for Bowman, show that progressive politics wasn't just a 2018 fluke and that the public may actually want real change in Washington. As those remaining primaries are decided, we'll know for sure whether progressive American politics is just a fad or if the Democratic establishment will have to come to terms with being a party of progressives.